Paul Manafort was once President Trump's campaign manager. By the fall of 2018, he was expected to face at least a decade in prison for 10 felony counts. Those counts included financial fraud and conspiracy to obstruct justice. Mr. Manafort is disappointed of not getting acquittals all the way through. He is evaluating all of his options at this point. In the hopes of getting a more lenient punishment, Manafort agreed to fully cooperate with the special counsel, Robert Mueller. Now federal prosecutors are saying he violated his plea deal by repeatedly lying during their investigation. Manafort's lawyer also allegedly passed information to President Trump's legal team. But this isn't Manafort's first scandal. Controversy has trailed the veteran Republican advisor since his earliest work as an international lobbyist and consultant. In the 1980s, Manafort testified before Congress and admitted to using his political influence to win millions of dollars in contracts from federal low-income housing programs. Uh, the technical term for what we do and what law firms, associations, and the professional groups do is lobbying. For purposes of today, I will admit that in a narrow sense, some people might term it influence peddling. That same decade, Manafort advised the Philippine dictator Ferdinand Marcos on improving his image in the U.S. Manafort allegedly received $10 million in cash from a Marcos confidant. It was apparently money intended for Ronald Reagan's presidential campaign, but the campaign said it never received that money. Foreign contributions to U.S. presidential elections are illegal. Also in the 1980s, Manafort was linked to the Prime Minister of the Bahamas at a time when the island nation had alleged ties to drug traffickers. Manafort's company said that the goal of its work was to help the Bahamas obtain more U.S. aid to help curb the drug smuggling. Decades later, Manafort would run Trump's presidential campaign. We want America to understand who Donald Trump the man is, not just Donald Trump the candidate. Well, you know, the composite of his career, not just from a business standpoint or a political standpoint, from a human standpoint as well. But he resigned five months into the job in August 2016 in the wake of reports that he received more than $12 million from Viktor Yanukovych the former Ukrainian president and pro-Russia politician. Yanukovych and his political party relied on advice from Manafort and his firm, which helped them win several elections. The Times uncovered that Manafort and others close to Trump met with a Kremlin-linked Russian lawyer in June 2016. That lawyer claimed to have damaging political information about Hillary Clinton. As for this latest brush with controversy, Manafort's lawyers insist that their client has been truthful but they acknowledge that Manafort and Mueller's team are at an impasse.